Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today it is my pleasure to announce that this is the first in a series of tutorial videos that we are going to begin to produce to assist people with various disabilities. So whether you or someone you know may have some sort of a vision or hearing disability, we really want to try to produce content to help people. And so if you have any recommendations for apps or different things that we may not even be aware of, please always feel free to leave them in the comments section beneath this video. Also, I do want to make a quick note. Forgive me for not appearing in this particular video. I'm fighting a bit of a cold, so I'm not going to do that today. Today, though, we are going to show you how to make your iPhone or iPad speak to you. This works across all different applications. It's, of course, especially helpful for things like email and books, regardless of which books app you're using. So to start, we're going to go into settings on the iPhone. From here, we're going to scroll down till we get to general settings. From here, we're going to go into accessibility. Next, we're going to go into speech. And this is where you're going to find all of the options to make your iPhone speak to you. The first option we've turned off for now, that is the speak selection tool. So it's only going to speak whatever you select with your finger. We're going to be using the second option, which is speak screen. So it'll do everything and we'll go over how to trigger it in just a minute. The third option you see is voices. Now there is voice support in multiple languages. For now, of course, we're gonna be going over English. And within English, we have a few different options here. We have a default option, which is basically what you're used to hearing with Surrey. Enhanced quality, just a little bit, uh, a little bit clearer, a little bit easier to understand. And then Alex, which is a fairly large file. It's an 869 megabyte file. Now if you're running uh, this on a new iPhone 6, if you have a little bit more storage than say the base model, go for it. It's uh, a little bit better. Not dramatically, I've found, but that's my own opinion. You'll see we also have options here to have the voice have a Australian accent, British accent, Irish accent, or South African accent. So you can choose whichever one works best for you. For today, I'm just going to be using the enhanced quality option. If we go back to screens, uh, you'll see here we also have an option to increase or decrease the speaking rate. Now, don't worry if you don't get it right on the first shot because you can actually modify this option once you're already reading text or having your phone read text to you, I should say. The next option is for highlighting content. This just means it's going to highlight the word as it is speaking it. And then we have turned off speak auto text, something I don't think many of you would be interested in, which will speak auto corrections and auto capitalizations. Again, this works with pretty much every app out there. So for now, I'm just going to go into one of my favorite little apps, which is Zite. And when you have an article that you want to use, all you need to do is scroll down from the top of the phone with two fingers. Normally, one finger would launch Notification Center two fingers will activate where it will speak to you. Now I tried this before and it while it will play the audio for me I don't know if any of you will be able to actually hear this process so we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So I'm going to scroll down now with two fingers I'm going to pause it right there. So you can see that it is highlighting the text as uh, as it reads it. And we have these little controls that show up at the top of the screen. These will disappear after a few seconds. You can just tap that to bring it back. And so we have the little rabbit icon to make it talk faster, the little turtle to make it uh, f slower, and then the various speed buttons. So if we need to play, pause, fast forward, or rewind, we have those as well. Another really handy feature that we have with this is let's say I'm playing this article, I can actually continue what I'm doing and leave this app by hitting the home button. It's still reading to me what it left off on. So I can go check my email, whatever I need. And that is how you make your iPhone speak to you. Again, if you have any uh, suggestions, recommendations for other apps that we should be covering to assist uh, those with various disabilities, we really want to hear back from you. So please leave them in the comments section. We look forward to hearing from you. This is David A. Cox with PC Classes Online. Class dismissed.